correspond with the All Saints reading. And also, we're colored in white rather than green. Long green season is coming to an end. And so we continue in the Book of Common Prayer on page 355. If you're watching from home and want to use your prayer book, or if you wish to use your prayer book here in the sanctuary. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you are our hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets shall I be. Friends the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of God, Lord of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory and everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. <laughs> Thank you. 
glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord mighty and Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, the everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. See how he loved him. 
But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind, blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in cloth. And Jesus said to them, to them Unbind him, let him go. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. which God gave us 
and pray for the wisdom to care for it. On All Saints Day, November 1st, 1995, the first all-race elections were held in South Africa, marking the end of apartheid. And they all sang, for all the saints, who from their labors rest, of thee by faith before the world confess, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have history together with all the saints. And it's not just a list of names and dates, it's a history of the people of God, with God, and for God, and by God. Because Christians have never traveled this road alone. Our path to glory was trod by thousands of saints through the centuries, and while we continue that quest, we, like all those who came before us, are never alone. All of them declare, in God we trust. And then they took a step forward in faith, and just look at what they've accomplished through the centuries. None of it by themselves, but with God, and by God, and for God. In God we trust. Right here, right now, say that. In God we trust. In God we trust. See, we're all just like those wonderful saints who came before us. And all they did was trust in God. And now, all these years later, on All Saints Day, we remember them, and we remember them well. Like the apostles John, Peter, and James, and the lesser-known apostles like Thaddeus and Thomas and Nathaniel, and the ones who came after the resurrection like Paul and Matthias and Barnabas. The Episcopal Church says that a saint is a holy person, a faithful Christian who shares life in Christ, in the New Testament, the term is applied to all faithful Christians. Paul's letter to the churches in Corinth, Philippi, Ephesus, and Rome all began with, to the saints and those called to be saints. Christ makes it possible for all of us to be saints as we share his life. Because we are washed and sanctified and justified through our baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. And because of that, people that we all know are saints. People that are listed in your bulletin who will remember in a few minutes by name and ring a bell after each one. Just the ones who have passed away in the last year are saints now in the presence of God. All resurrected into God's glory. And we miss them. And like Jesus, we weep. In the Old Testament reading from Isaiah, we heard, God will wipe the tear from every face. He'll remove every sign of disgrace from his people wherever they are. And in the reading from Revelation, God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. And you see, that is why we say, in God we trust. In God we trust. For God already knows our hearts. And when we mourn, he weeps with us. For God loves too. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her were also weeping, he was greatly disturbed and deeply moved, and he said, where are you laying him? And they said, Lord, come and see. And Jesus began to weep. The Son of God. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, happy loves us. Oh, happy loves you and me. Jesus' love for all saints includes every single one of you. All of you. No matter what you've done, where you've been, or what's happened before in your life, all of you are loved by Jesus and by the Father. 
and by the Holy Spirit. A love so wide, so deep, it cannot be measured. It is too great, and too extreme, too extravagant. From the cross, Jesus invited all of humanity, everyone, into sainthood. Not just part of the club, into sainthood. You will receive the gift of everlasting life. You will have all of your sins forgiven, and you will see the glory of God. So we say together, in God we trust. In God we trust. No one loves you more than God. It's just not possible. And no one is more powerful than God. It's just not possible. God created everything that is and was and ever will be. So in God we trust. And as we celebrate All Saints Day, and honor all those saints who have come before us. And all the saints who are present with us right now in this place. And all the saints who are yet to come to walk in the doors of this sanctuary and join with us in holy worship. We acknowledge these men and women that are just as human as we are. Ordinary people, like you and I, living extraordinary lives simply because we believe in God we trust. Like all the saints, you too can live an extraordinary life if you just trust in God. Trust Him. Deeply trust Him. Truly trust Him. Honestly, trust Him, and then expect the extraordinary. It's time for all of us, not just to say it, not just to read it on a dollar bill, but to actually live it and to love it in God Jesus. Please stand as we affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. And I am prayer book on page 358 and on the screen. We believe in one God.
In peace we pray to you, Lord God. <coughs> For all people in their daily life and the world. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are not alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger and fear, justice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the rest, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who remain in our hospital and all who seek the truth. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Gregory, our bishop, and for all bishops, Robert, our supply priest, and other ministers. <coughs> Father Bob and Phyllis Brandt, Kate Goodrich, Leonard Mulling, Patrice Thomas, Donovan Clark, Gail Judas, Wayne and Charlene Griffin, Jeanette Otley, Errol and Selma George, Leandis Campbell, Cecilia Petgrave, Norma Goffin, Calliope Blyman, Darwin Williams, Madison Gracie Barr, Richard Walls, Amos Van Sant, Michael Hugh, Judy Campbell, Veronica Allen, John O'Neill, Lidu O'Neill, Eddie Ferraro, Eflin Moody, <coughs> Melrose Sangster, Ruby and Norman Hudson, Hazel Walcott, Wayne Abraham, Enid Thompson, Ruby Stan, Gertrude McLeod, and George Adams. Hear us, Lord, for your mercies we pray. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, especially Arthanel Aldridge, <coughs> Colleen Norma Ray Anderson, <coughs> Richard Adolfos, Bessie, <coughs> Lloyd Kane. Julia Tozer, Henroy Jewell, Althea Marie Johnson, Cyril King, Millicent Veronica Lee Williams, Jane Logan, Leonel Parks, Ivy Mae Phillips, Tiffany Pinnock, James Robert Sykes, Arthur Reed Simmons, Betty Stevenson, and Whistle Walkie. That they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful God. In your compassion, forgive us our sins. Known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so hold us by your spirit.
Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give your thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in all your saints who have been chosen vessels of your grace and the lights of the world in their generation. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 God, 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 in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and the Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross, and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. And then I was handed over to suffering and death our Lord Jesus Christ, took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is dying, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold today.
all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and the Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you now and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray. And your servant as he begins another year, that he may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen his trust in your goodness all the days of his life. Come Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Gary Campbell. Happy birthday, Gary. <laughs> Mark, this is the time to be in this town, right? <laughs> now the weather's perfect. <laughs> we will be celebrating um, Thanksgiving service here on 10 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day. So for those of you who would like to join us, Father Bob will be here to minister to us. Have a blessed day. I just want to say, um, after church, I want to give the daughters to like just two, three minutes of your time. Just have a little bit of an announcement to tell them. Thank you. And there's one other thing. Um, we are looking to revive the ECW ministry, and uh, we are asking for um, anyone who would like to head that ministry. I know I tapped into Judy, and I'm hoping that uh, the Lord will put it in her heart and she will uh, lead this ministry. Also, for the men, we are looking to establish a Brothers of the St. Andrew's ministry, and Mr. Abrahams will be leading that ministry. So, for the men who are interested, uh, Mr. Abraham is 
Abrahams is not here today, but um, you can reach out to him or you can call the parish office or myself to get further information. Thank you. Have a blessed week. One more. Does somebody else have something? No. Oh, one more thing. For those who would like, um, also for the best, for the um, best trip, if you would like to be a member of the best trip, please see Miss Carolyn Campbell. Thank you. Harvest. Harvest and gathering. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Harvest and gathering would be on the 21st, and that's when you will return your pledge cards. The stewardship ministry is in um, the process of deciding what, um, how they're going to coordinate that event, and uh, we will get back to you with that additional information next Sunday. Please stand and let's sing our recessional hymn number 544, Jesus Shall Reign.